Are you serious? Are you serious? Hurricane Irma is getting stronger and stronger. It is strengthening. It's at 120 miles an hour. It's closing in, folks, on the Caribbean islands. Matter of fact, hurricane watches are in effect for Antigua, uh, Barbuda, uh, uh, all across the, those seven nations, including Puerto Rico. And then there's St. Martin, of course. All of them, all of those are in the path of this hurricane. Matter of fact, category three, storm's path remains unclear, though some forecast models show it could be headed for Florida and the East Coast. Irma is expected to turn toward the west later today, followed by a west-northwestward turn late Tuesday. The storm's expected to further strengthen through Tuesday night. So the question is, where did, what happens then? Some Caribbean islands are already making preparations. Uh, they know the storm is going to be close to them. Puerto Rico's governor, uh, Ricard Rossello, told officials there he prepared to deal with any emergency, but he still urged residents of the territory to take precautions, according to the Associated Press. In Antigua, the Prime Minister, Gaston Brown, recommended taking preventative measures like cleaning the drains. Workers were also seen pouring, excuse me, pruning trees and shrubs to make them from tearing down uh, less, you know, less prone to do so. They were also wanting to protect the phone and power lines. And uh, so there's preparation going on, folks, in the Caribbean islands. They know the storm is coming. They know the storm is coming. Hurricane Irma. The question is, after it's done with those seven islands, where does it go then? Does it dip further southwest and go and head into the Gulf of Mexico? Does it turn and hit the east coast of Florida, the entire coast there? Or does it turn on up and head toward the Carolinas or even further north and go for New York? Or could it completely hang up right and miss mainland United States and go into the North Atlantic, sparing us of a major hurricane? We don't know, but we're praying and we're going to keep a close eye on it. Hurricane Irma, and then behind Irma, another storm brewing right off the coast of Africa, following the trail of Irma. Pray, folks. Pray. This is a time that we need people with faith and folks really praying. America cannot afford to suffer a second major hurricane hitting the mainland, especially with Kim Jong-un now this morning saying he's going to test uh, another intercontinental ballistic missile, the exact missile that he would use to carry the payload of the hydrogen bomb that he blew up yesterday morning. So he's sending a message. He's doubling down. While Nikki Haley is in the United Nations condemning and going through the entire record, this is getting ugly. Pray one for another. Pray for the folks in Houston and all of Texas and Louisiana that are still suffering from the massive flood, but they're pulling together, working hard. God's got a plan. Are you saved? The coming apocalypse is near.